Hey everybody, Quad Nines here with my very first episode of Cube Card of the Week. It's a series I'm starting here for really strong or really fun cards in my own personal cube. And the first card in the series is so strong, it's been banned in Commander. I know, right? Are you curious what it is? Well, let's find out right now. That's right, the first card in this series is Recurring Nightmare. It's a two and a black enchantment that once in play, you may sacrifice a creature, return Recurring Nightmare to your hand, and then bring back any creature from your graveyard on the battlefield. You may only do this as a sorcery, but okay, fine. I just got my best creature in my graveyard for a token, for a 1-1 one, one elf, whatever. The point is, this is one of the best pack one, pick one, build around cards in cube, whether it be a legacy level cube or a, all the way up to a vintage cube. I run the strongest cards I could find, and this card is still pack one, pick one in a lot of cases. There's some cards that it just really combos with. Some of them induce the scoop phase, as I call it, and some of them are just grind them into the dirt value. Let's go over some of them right now. Okay, first one I'm talk about is Phyrexian Metamorph. I do like having some kind of clone effect, and this is the best one in the cube uh, with the current nightmare because it's better if you, you can just draw it and still cast it. Or sometimes you copy something, get the ability, sacrifice it to bring back something else. Later in the game, you bring it back, copy the new best thing. So definitely one you want to think about drafting if you take recurring nightmare. Next is Solemn, and it's just value. And value with Recurring Nightmare is just better value. Not only do you get the end of the battlefield, get a land into play, but then you can sacrifice Solemn, get the card draw trigger, and still bring back your best creature out of the yard. Uh, value. Mole Drifter, hello. Draw two cards, evoke it, it goes back to the graveyard, sack any creature in play, bring it back, draw two more cards, and then keep your 2-2 flyer? Sign me up for that. Uh, of course, I mean, really, are there any bad situations in which you wind up with a Mold Drifter in play? Still. Uh, now, some of these cards are meaner ways to play Recurring Nightmare. Uh, this one's Sundering Titan, which if you ever had one of these enter the battlefield against you, you know you're in for a bad time. Uh, it's a 7-10 that blows up lands. Now, you may lose a lander to yourself, but your opponent's probably going to come out worse in this situation because you get to decide which lands get blown up. Uh, now, eh, I have sacrificed it before to bring back something else and blow up more lands. But, uh, I don't know, it's kind of a win more, but sometimes you do it. Anyway, if you want to be mean, Sundering Titan, I mean, Sundering Titan's your deck, so obviously you do. Uh, next, Acidic Slime, not quite as mean. It usually blows up one land, maybe blows up an artifact. But the Death Touch 2-2 is a really good target for Recurring Nightmare. Because uh, sometimes you just want to get it in the yard to bring it back. You have six mana, do it twice. It's great. Did I mention that when you return Recurring Nightmare to your hand, you just replay it the same turn sometimes. Hence the name. It just keeps coming back and keeps getting worse. Uh, now, something you combos really well with Acidic Slime and Recurring Nightmare is Grave Titan. Now, Grave Titan is probably my favorite creature to play with Recurring Nightmare because it brings its own fodder. It brings two zombies in the battlefield when it comes. And it's still, you know, it's still 6-6 six, six death touch. It still attacks and makes more zombies. I don't know, if you've ever played a Grave Titan, then played Recurring Nightmare again, sacrifice it, get back Acidic Slime, blow up a land, it just gets gross really fast. If you've got a story in which somebody resolved a Grave Titan from Recurring Nightmare and then had Acidic Slime or anything that gross involved and you came back and won that game, I think I want to hear that story, so post it down in the comments below, or just post your favorite creature to play with the current nightmare. Now, the best enchantment to play with the current nightmare is Survival of Fittest. Now, these two cards were in the same set. That's right, they were in standard together. Someone at R&D read these two cards and went, hmm, that seems fine. How can that be busted? I don't know. How about you just pay a green, discard a creature, get a creature out of your deck, and then you have a current nightmare, so you just build your best board over like a turn or two, maybe. But uh, like I said, if 
if you first pick survival, look for a current nightmare and vice versa. They combo so well together that some people have altered the two cards to kind of reflect that even more. Uh, Milo from Milo the Gathering, his recurring nightmare has the uh, original survival art in the background here where the eyes would be. It's the goblin with the pickaxe standing over his prey. And his survival of the fittest, where it has its normal background, it has the eyes from recurring nightmare. So it's really sweet. Uh, you see stuff like this from time to time, mostly because uh, Recurring Nightmare is one of the better altar targets in your cube, because this is the only version of the card that exists. There's no fools, no judge promos, no alternate art, nothing. This was printed in Exodus. It's on the reserve list. It wasn't one of the chosen few like Survival that got made a judge promo. So if you don't like this art, I guess hire somebody to draw something else on it. But I like the art myself. The eyes are very creepy and unnerving. Uh, some people on Twitter posted what they like doing with it or what they didn't like about the card. Let's check that out. Okay, so as you see, people have got very strong opinions about the card. They love it or hate it, but they've usually got good stories about it. And that's one of the reasons I put it in the cube. Now, there's always going to be strongest level cards in every color of your cube. Uh, the point is, you need to have interaction. You don't put Recurring Nightmare in your cube and not have instant speed enchantment removal or board wipes or like discard anything you have to make it to where this isn't a three mana win the game card now i'm not saying i haven't resolved this before and then the game pretty much be over but the point is it has a lot of good stories that come out of it and that's really what cube's about it's the stories the big swingy plays the comebacks from big swingy plays that's what cube about is for me and that's what hopefully i'm gonna have more episodes like this that talk about other cards that you know create those stories so that's it for the first episode of Cube Card of the Week, Recurring Nightmare. Uh, if you have a card you'd like to see in a future video, post it down in the comments below or maybe message me on Twitter. I'm always on there ready to talk about Cube. But uh, let me know what you thought about this series and if you'd like to see it, continue. If you've made it this far in the video, I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, please click subscribe and like the video and comment down below on what you'd like to see in future videos. Thanks for watching.